guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming Lilith's six month up six month update and it's her six month birthday today. Um, I can't even remember what I put in her three month update um, but I've just a few main things that I wanted to put here just so I can look back on it myself maybe in a few years if I have another child and what to expect and just stuff like that. So at six months, we have began weaning her. We began weaning, we began, we started to wean Lilith uh, just after my birthday. So at the beginning of November when she was five months and we started her off on porridge and yeah, just mainly porridge actually. And it's only within the last day, like two days that she started to have two meals a day which is normally lunch and dinner um, for dinner she's either having like a dessert kind of jar food uh, a bit of finger food or tonight we've had like pouch food which was carrots um, she really loves pretty much every food that we offer her so far but she's definitely a porridge girl she loves her porridge and if I'm struggling to get her to eat, I just know giving her porridge will make her a really happy baby. Uh, she's still taking bottles when and if she wants them. Uh, she's never struggled with any kind of weight loss or putting on weight. She's really been a good baby in that sense. And um, she's now having eight ounces for pretty much every bottle. So just a rough number, four out of five bottles, she will have eight ounces. And... Um, I wouldn't say she needs any more than that, she's only just finishing it off, but she does need the eight ounces now. Um, so every bottle we make is an eight ounce bottle. She's also snacking in between. Um, she's having uh, like carrots or bits of bread or even a bit of toast, um, which has all been advised to me by the health visitor and other people in that sort of region. So she's doing really well on eating and she loves it. It's probably one of her favorite things to do for a six month old. Like, they don't have many favourites, I'm sure. Um, she's become a mummy's girl as of lately. She really just wants to be cuddled and I'm not I'm not moaning about it at all. Well, I kind of do when I need to do some tidying. It seems when I need to tidy, she just wants to cry and be held. But when she wants her own time, that's what she wants. But then, I don't know, it's just one of them things, isn't it? She just wants to be held when I really need to do something. But she definitely knows, I think I was talking about her family, she definitely knows who we all are. She definitely has her favourites too, for sure. Um, but she's just a really fun, interactive baby. And she is just a pleasure to be around. Like, whenever you're having a bad moment or a bad day, she just gives you the biggest smiles and it's just so lovely. Uh, Sleeping-wise, she's beginning to have her naps. Sleeping-wise, she's begun to have afternoon naps. I can't remember if she was doing this at three months. And naps, for me, have been a really hard thing just to introduce to her. Because she really never really wanted to go to sleep. She always wanted to go to sleep on her own. Kind of whenever she wanted, like downstairs. Um, but we've definitely started putting her upstairs in her bed to go to sleep. She doesn't get a good sleep unless she's in bed. Uh, but she naps for one to two hours and she's really good at sleeping through the night as well. She's gone down now. She just goes down between nine and ten and wakes up then between half seven and half nine, which is really good. Um, so yeah, sleeping wise, she's good. Food wise, she's good. She's got two teeth. She has two bottom teeth. They come through, I can't remember when. I'm going to insert a picture. Um, of when I began to see her teeth and the date obviously but she's got two teeth and it's just one of them things as soon as I saw I cried because she's just growing so quickly we have given her a toothbrush to just chew on for now so she's not scared of a toothbrush when we really need to brush her teeth and we've also introduced just a tiny bit of toothpaste and just gentle brushing as well just so she gets used to it um, and Dan loves to brush her teeth he loves to just brush her teeth and play with her while she's doing that. Dan really makes the whole experience for her really fun. She's starting to make different noises. We know what all of her noises are. We know all her facial expressions as well, which um, I think it takes a long time to really begin to know your baby. And as they grow older, they show more emotions and feelings and stuff. So we recognize pretty much a solid nine out of 10 
of anything she's trying to tell us, we recognize it straight away. The last thing I want to mention, I wanna keep this really short and sweet, this video. My baby girl can roll over. That's, to me, it's just insane. Like she's been rolling for two weeks and she was stuck for two weeks in the same kind of place. She just couldn't quite get herself all the way over. Um, but if you leave her on the floor in like one place and go off for five minutes while you do something and she's just playing with her toys, she's in a completely different position. She just like shifts her whole body around. She does 180s and everything. She can roll both ways as well. And yeah, my baby girl's just growing absolutely brilliantly and I'm so proud of her. And she doesn't even know it. She doesn't even know how loved she is. Um, but that's everything I wanted to say for her six month update. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click down below and subscribe for more mummy and lifestyle and also diabetes videos. I'm also doing vlogmas as well and this is instead of a vlogmas, this video. So if you want to see them, I'm going to leave the playlist link at the end of this video for you to go and see and I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Bye! Chances are we're about to show you another episode of our award-winning comedy, Big Bang. Let's do something like this. Enough with food, Sally. Thank you.